of my career tips for software testers. Today I'm actually going to do a technical dive into GitHub and I'm going to go through a new feature that was released for GitHub just in the last two weeks and it's to create a GitHub profile readme. Uh, so as you can see this is my GitHub profile. There's nothing too exciting and I don't have a large amount of commits against it. I'm going to go through the process of creating a GitHub profile readme so that there is uh, a bit of extra imagery and text off to the site here. So there's this blog post on how to create a GitHub profile readme and I'm going to go through this process with you today. Uh, Jason Langstorff has a really cool GitHub readme. Uh, so I'm just hoping to add a image and some text above my pinned repositories. So let's see how this goes. So, uh, I have this image uh, hosted on my blog. I'm hoping that this will be the banner and we'll be using GitHub Markdown to do the, the readme. So the first thing I should do in GitHub is create a new repository. Repository name is the same as my profile and it is case sensitive. Oh, I found a secret. That's a special repository where you can use to add a readme to your GitHub profile. Ha, ah, okay, cool. It is public and initialize it with a readme to get started. Initialize. There we go. We're just going to tick that. Uh, tick that box right there. And let's uh, create that repository. We're just going to commit straight to the, the readme. If we, if we can edit that. Um, okay. So yeah, if you're setting up, setting up a GitHub repository, can I zoom in? Oh, there we go. So that makes that nice and bigger. Uh, this gives you a sample of some of the GitHub uh, markdown. We've got a comment. Uh, we've got a title. And here are some ideas to get you started. It would be good to list what you're currently working on, what you're currently learning, uh, if you're looking to collaborate. So the, the markdown I'm going to use is just from some notes over here. Uh, I reckon if you're setting up, okay, so this is all just a comment. Okay, so let's delete, uh, actually we'll keep, we'll keep the comment there and uh, GitHub Markdown has uh, support for emoji. Um, so you could put emojis uh, in there, um, but I won't just yet. So uh, the image and the link to the image on my blog uh, my name is Sam. I think if you're setting up GitHub for your own uh, repository, I think it'd be good to list what you're learning, why you're learning it, and here's a link to that repository, or having that repository linked so it's right up the top. You have to think about it from an engineering manager's point of view. If you're going through the job hunting process, the hiring manager is not going to give two shits about your GitHub repository. But if you get through the hiring manager, then the engineering manager might check out your GitHub repository. And setting up your GitHub is your tech credibility. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Uh, update readme. Commit changes. Now, there we go. We've got an image and some text. Okay. I haven't quite figured out how to do a new line in Markdown just yet, uh, but I think it's the double uh, enter is possibly a new line. I think I might uh, just remove that section here, but I think it's worthwhile and I'll also delete that comment. There we go. And let's uh, commit changes and we're committing directly to master. We're not creating a pull request or doing anything fancy. Fancy. Okay, so that is my special readme set up. Let's go back to my profile now uh, and let's see if we can refresh that and see what. Oh, there we go. I now have a nice image. 
I actually think the the sizing of the image I think is just a little too high so that might be something I adjust yeah I probably should adjust that uh, and also the link to check out my blog so there we go I've set up a custom readme for my github profile thank you